So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today's video we're gonna talk about the Nvidia Shield AI upscaling and why this might be another feature, another reason to upgrade to the new Nvidia Shield TV. So when Nvidia Shield was first released, I was one of the first ones to actually review it, went through the pros and cons, and for me at the time, one of the biggest improvements was the remote. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to a couple remote videos that I've done, guys. This remote is awesome in my opinion, has a lot of features that the older Shield doesn't have. So the second feature that made this Shield worth getting is the AI upscaling. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to test it, how to turn it on, and what the differences are. Now this is only available on the 2019 Shield, so you have the 2019 Shield Pro, as well as the standard. 2019 shield cone what is ai upscaling and what is upscaling in general so i'll go ahead and leave a link to this article it is on the nvidia shield website so standard upscaling is when an image is taken and it's stretched out to fit the new resolutions so for instance if you have a 1080p tv and the content that you're trying to watch is only 480p what it'll do is just stretch it out to make it fit that screen size now the result of that is that yes the picture is going to fit your television but the quality is going to suffer so ai upscaling takes it to another level so what ai scaling does it deploys a model that can take a low resolution image and produce an incredible sharpness so it doesn't just blanket up scale everything it actually predicts what the high resolution picture will look like and that's why this feature is so awesome so back over to the nvidia shield to make sure that's turned on i'm going to go to our settings and it should be here on the quick setting and so if you click on ai upscaling it is set to basic by default so what we want to do is turn on ai enhanced and then we have a couple options here at the bottom where we can set it to high medium or low i am going to leave it at high further down we're going to enable demo so this demo will allow me to actually show you the different split screen style of what the images look like when it's upscale and when it's standard so when you have demo mode enabled it tells you that if you press the three lines or the menu button at the top right of your remote you have two different options so if you do a long press you will see that split screen view where you can move it back and forth also to switch between different modes just click the menu button once and it should go from basic to ai enhanced now another thing i wanted to mention is that ai upscaling is not available for every type of content so on the nvidia shield website once again i'll go ahead and reference this page as well it says that ai upscaling is not available for video resolutions that's less than 480p it also is not available for frame rates higher than 30 hertz or anything higher than 30 frames per second it's not going to work as well also it's not available if your video content color space is rgb so keep that in mind sometimes you might go over to try to enable AI enhancement and it gives you an error and tell you that it's not supported. And also just wanted to put this out there as well. This is not going to work for every single application. So it does work for Plex, Netflix, as well as YouTube. And I've tested those, but it also works for Amazon Prime. If you have a third party application, more than likely it's not going to work. So let's go ahead and we're going to launch YouTube first. And let me go ahead and pause this video. So right now, can't really tell if it's on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold the three lines in the top of the remote. It gives you a split screen. Basically, one is enhanced and one isn't. So that's what it looked like in the basic enhancement. And when I scroll over, you can see it's starting to get a lot better. So let me go to a different part of the video and stop right there. So let me move this across again, guys, and just focus on the top of that red piece of jello. You can just see how much that color, that resolution has improved. Let me go to a different spot. All right, so we can start out here by looking at the, the water droplets. Look how fuzzy that looks right there. And as I move it across, look at the dog and just the difference there, guys. So like I said, I was able to get it to work on Plex as well, guys. And you can see the difference between the two faces. Essentially, it's night or day. So just a, a tap on the button, it will go from basic to enhance. So it basically just fills the whole screen. But like I said, if you do a long press, you do have that slider where you can go ahead and test it out and see if it works. So that was my overview of AI enhancement on the 2019 NVIDIA Shield. If you already have an NVIDIA Shield, this might not be a reason to upgrade. But however, if you're in the market, maybe you're in between, whether you want to get a Shield or something else, this might be something else to consider. So like I said, check the links in the description. Also, there's a VPN deal that's and then today guys i believe it's 40 dollars for a year low as i've seen in a while so check that out as well i'll leave a link in the comment section as well as in the description 
Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.